I have to set it again. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. There he is. <laughs> What's up, man? How's it going, man? Good, good. Worked a lot better this time. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Uh, how's your Friday, man? I, it's good. I am tired. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did a <laughs> ride this morning. Hey, Kim. I did a ride this morning, and then uh, when I got done, I had to come back and make soap. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Uh, hey, I'm, a little, I'm, a little, I'm a little smoked today. Well, at least you're shaving. Yes. Yeah. Well, go, go for him. Hey, what's going on? So, if it's all right with you, I I did a uh, shave of the day photo for what I was planning on using for this, and it was McDuff's again. Yeah. But today's kind of a uh, special day for you. Yes. And yesterday was a special day for Phil. It was. So if it's all right with, if it's all right with you, yeah. I was planning on using this. All right, yeah. And this is your first one, the absolute first one with your older base. Is that okay? Oh, is that, that's the old one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, man, yeah. That's cool. Before the triple butter. Uh, I'm going to be using the Bay Rum, our Bay Sweet. Rum. And I'm going to be using, because uh, I want to use Phil's Bricktown, uh, no quarter. And the razor, I'm going to stick with my 70s thing from yesterday. Nice. So I'm going to use my 70s Gillette Adjustable 109. Hey, Benaki. Hey, Kathleen. Uh, for, so, yeah, I'm going to use the first one I got from Phil, too. I got his Lafayette. Oh, that's nice. That's the first one I ever bought from him. Who's protecting the? <laughs> who's protecting the, our borders? The coasties are here. <laughs> the active coasties, the still yeah. active ones. And then rainfall. Uh, I'm gonna use my Merker 23C. Oh, that's cool, Isaac. One of my favorites. Was it as beautiful in New York as it was here? In Rhode Island. Uh, are you in Rhode Island? I was. Oh, right now you mean? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, when you were. Oh, you went riding in Rhode Island? No, I went riding to sit this morning. It was brutally hot. It was like 90. Oh, good. Oh, never mind. Here it was in the 80s. It was hot. And my ride is. Uh, my ride is is uh, up a lot a lot of uphill a lot of climbing. Oh, gotcha. So I was like smoked when I was done. How's it going, Aaron? Aaron at Bay All Shaving said, I think you're giving the Coast Guard too much credit. <laughs> He's an Army vet. All right. Lather well, right up, man. How are you doing, Aaron? Oh, sorry. Pete said he loves climbing. I love climbing, too. I mean, that's primarily... My ride is primarily climbing because it's just where I where I am. But anyone else, this is his older base, so it's just it's one of the first soaps I got from him. I don't even I got have it. I don't even have you don't? it. You don't? No. No. <laughs> I don't have any of those. That sandalwood one is one of my favorites from your first base. Oh, I almost yeah. did that, and then I remember you had said Night Out was the first Shea Soap scent you made. Yep, that was the very first one we ever did. I still do that one. That one was one of the one of the best sellers we had, even in a bar soap. That and the Draconis, right? Yep. Well, I definitely need some more water here. Uh, someone asked, "How old is the base?" The new one, or is, for the I think the older one. 
the old one is I can't remember when I switched over to the new bass. I love the bay rum on this. Oh yeah, your bay rum is killer, man. So I got a little beast time of my own this week. Only got one day, but one day for what? The beach. Oh, beach. Yeah, only got only got one day in Rhode Island, but that's good. It was good. It was nice. That's good, man. Was it as hot? No, it was not. It was it was actually kind of nice. That's cool. Did you see any seals? No. We actually hit a couple of. Uh, I think I sent you the pictures. We hit a couple of antique shops when we were down there. Yeah, those were nice looking, man. Yeah, I scored some razors that are diamonds in the rough, man. All they need is a little cleaning. I think the one was a 62 adjustable, the other one's a 58 uh, twist to open. All I need is a little. A little cleaning. Oh. Yeah, I was just about to ask. Are you gonna, do you know how to clean them yourself, or you have to send them out? No, I'll clean them myself. Very cool. I won't send them out unless I need to, like, have them replated or something. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah Captain. Antique stores are the best. You can find some gems. Hey, how's it going, Phil? Uh, Aaron said that the soap foam is great. Yeah, it does, man. Joe makes some great shave soaps. I haven't used this razor in a while. Antique stores are the best. Yeah, they are. Antique stores are bad news for me. You walk out with a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, before we walked in here, I didn't know how badly I wanted a milking stool. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden, now you do. Yeah. Uh, it's Joe's. Uh, Subtle large soap. Aaron was asking whose soap it is. All right. How many razors do you have? Kathleen's asking how many razors do you have? I have oh. no idea. Me neither. I was I just about to say, I, I, that's the bad habit. If you don't look, you don't know. So it's easier to buy another one. And I already have, I, I have a 58 adjustable, but then I saw another one and I saw the price and I'm like, yeah, I definitely need another one. Nick myself. One of the best damn soaps out there. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Oh, that's what Phil said. I agree. Was it you telling me, or it might have been Phil, that you guys were swapping each other's collections? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. I sent him a picture yesterday of all the Bricktown splashes I have, and then he sent me a picture of all the shave soaps that he that he has, and I I did not realize that he had that many. Oh, of yours? Yeah. Good day, gents. Thank you, Double Y. Jacob said, I got to hit up some antique stores around my town. Just never done it. Yeah, same here, man. I pass them all the time. I, and I swear I'm going to go into one. I found some great stuff in there. I think a lot of times, you know, people, maybe they don't realize what they have. or just trying to, to clear out something. Yeah. And they just throw a price on it, and then you pick it up, and you're like, yeah, this, you know, this is a pretty nice razor. Well, I remember you telling me, too, that guy that was a knucklehead about it. Yeah, then you get that, too. I mean, the razor that I looked at, I saw an entire case full of straight razors. And I'm looking at this, I'm like, well, this could be a this could be a jackpot right here. 
Yeah. So I started looking like at the case. Too. I started looking at the case. You know, I started looking through them all, and they're all rusted or cracked or, you know, in really bad shape. And he, they want a lot of money for them. And they wouldn't even budge. You try to make an offer on something, and they wouldn't even budge. Like, yeah, I can't. I'm sorry. That's terrible. Good seeing you, man. Go to your birthday dinner. Have fun. Thanks for popping in. Uh, well, what I was going to say about that is he either didn't know what he had, or even worse, he did, and he didn't care. and was just trying to get top dollar for it. Yeah. And hoping that he would stumble across, or someone would stumble in and not know any better. Right. Exactly. So you were pretty good, man. You you didn't say a word about that Bricktown stuff. What? Oh, the test? Yeah. I didn't tell you? You didn't say a word to me. No. Okay, I'm sorry, man. Man, that's cool. No, that's good, man. I respect that. No, people, I try really hard not to let stuff slip. No, that's good, man. I respect that, especially if you know if you're an artisan and you're making something. And you got some people testing yes. it, and you don't want everybody exactly. to know. But you know, that's someone's business, man. So I, that's why I try not to. Yeah. Yeah, it's Tobin and I. I know a couple of times we were talking. You're you're asking me, hey, did Phil say anything to you about it? I'm like, no. Nah, yeah. Sure. Just that it would go good with one of my soaps. Okay, yeah. I felt bad. I was kind of... <laughs> hey, Jackie. Hoping I could find a... Uh, not a reason to tell you, per se, but... For what it's worth, I did feel bad. Uh, not at all, man. I wouldn't at all. Did he say that rust will clean right up and it'll sharpen nicely? Probably. The antique store guy. No, he didn't say anything. You wouldn't budge. That's just kind of hard-headed. No, when I say these razors are in bad shape, too, they were in bad shape. Yeah. They had a cracked, one of them had a cracked blade. Another one had chips taken out of the edge. Oh, that's... Yeah, you would said beyond repair. You'd have to hone it down to a 3-8. Yeah, yeah, or more or less, and a wedge simultaneously. I guess. Give me one sec. I hate the water, guys. Just I'll be right back. Uh -oh. Yeah, I know I had a towel. <sighs> Family doing good? Yeah, doing good. Sweet. My kids are not excited about school at all. No, I can't imagine. It's like Voldemort. You can't, it's something that can't be spoken about. Let's see. Enjoy having, oh, sorry. I had a guy, should be a street that looked like a cross cut saw. Yeah. Yeah, you should have seen this. I mean, Pete, you should have seen these. These were just like crazy. Oh, you know what? John, check this out. I'm going to show you this. I wish you could show people that photo. Check this out. Ooh. Yeah, I got this from uh, Pete. Pete sent me this. Really? What yeah. kind? This is a Bell Aro Revalo. This is from Brooklyn. This is from a company in Brooklyn. Never heard of that one. Yeah. There's not a ton of information out there, but it's a gorgeous razor. I'm actually going to try and do a video with it, I think, maybe tomorrow, do a YouTube video. And I'll talk a little bit about, you know, about this razor. That's nice, man. He, yeah, Pete honed it up himself. It looks, I mean, it's beautiful. The blade is so nice. 
You ever have you found a double duck yet? No. Well, actually, yes, I did. I found a really nice double duck gold edge, and I was oh. bidding on it, and I lost it at like the last oh. second. Boom! I lost it. I mean, I lost it by two dollars. Oh, even worse. Yeah, I was so mad. But I don't have any of the, like you know the stuff like um, bit sniper or anything like that. I don't use any programs to do anything. Yeah, same. They keep the septic handy. <laughs> yeah. Right. I loosely keep an eye out. I don't know. I just been wanting to double duck for a while. Yeah, I'm still looking. I mean, they're 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 out there. There's a lot of nice ones out there, but you're gonna pay. If you're gonna get a nice double duck. You're gonna pay top dollar for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're gonna pay 125, 150 bucks, no problem. That's a These are the ones I picked up at the the antique store. This is a 62, 62 adjustable, and this thing doesn't need anything but a cleaning. That's awesome. And this is the 58. Supposed to open again. Nothing but a cleaning. The plating is nice. It functions great. Is it a flare tip? Yeah, it's a 58. Oh, okay. So I'll get those cleaned up and throw those in the rotation. One that Bradley gave me, I think it's a 50. It's not a twist to open. I think it's a 59. He's going to kill me. He, I've asked him like three times. I can never get the date right. Yeah, thanks, Pete. Those are the ones I got at the, the antique shop. For a steel. Oh, so Phil missed it. Phil, I'm using the first one I ever bought from you, man, to commemorate yesterday. And I got this one. I got uh, no quarter. This is Sadie's favorite. I'm just going to say that. I'm just saying. Really? Yes. <laughs> I had it on once before, and she's like, oh, what's that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That goes with the front. <laughs> I would tell you that those this this Gillette is crazy efficient. This thing, I only got it on setting on a, on a three. I haven't tried those. On a three, and it is crazy efficient. Goes well with your bay room. <laughs> Cute porn music. Cute porn music. <laughs> <laughs> Which one, Phil? Razor? Or <clears throat> I'm using the worker uh long handle, the point three C. Got my little I got my little spot. Sorry, Joe. I got my spot cleared out here for my batch 214. Oh yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'm actually curious to see how that how that goes with my Athena shave soap because Athena has jasmine in it. Oh no, kidding! I yeah. didn't know that. Athena. I want to pair it with your grapefruit. Yeah, it. Yeah, it, it's. Phil said it goes great with the grapefruit. It does. I'm going to try the I'm going to try the uh, jazz inside of it and see how it goes with that too. That is interesting because yeah. I have the theme too. I got to yeah. try that. Hmm. Yeah, I think that'll work out too. A 74 one. Yeah, they're, they're fantastic. The 109s are great. <laughs> I had to have a birth year razor in my collection, so I had to have the 70. <laughs> I don't know if a lot of good stuff came out in 82. <laughs> yeah. Cartridge razors. <laughs> yeah, I said something good. From house, Joshua Barrier. Barrier. Well. All righty. So I got uh, some big news about our soap. So I just shipped out yesterday um, our shave soap to the shave supply. So you will be able to get our shave soap 
at the shave supply. I am super, super excited about that. That's, uh, that's, you know, that's up here right now. So next level. Yeah. You're legit. Yeah, that, that's good. He's got, he's going to have all of it. The only one he doesn't have is Mick K. Barber. I was kind of low on that one. So, um, I didn't send that one, but that's awesome. Yeah. yeah thanks, Phil. So yeah, you'd be able to get your subtle art soap, your Bricktown grooming and your trotter brush. In one location. Oh, please. Congratulations, man. Yeah, That's good. That's a big, big deal. Yeah, I'm, Happy I'm really excited about that. Yeah. I mean, he's been, his shop's been around for, what, since 2012? That was a good, yeah, I was going to say. 10 years he's been at it? Thanks. So. For quite a while, yeah. Thanks, Phil. I appreciate that. Thank you. Van Halen driver down came out in eight or eighty two. Oh. Well there you go. You got that. That's my go to. Oh Gareth? Shave supply, yeah, he's good. Yeah. Good people. That's yeah. totally what That's where I ordered yeah. um, that's where I just ordered the Bricktown batch two fourteen from. I yeah, that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna get it from him too. Uh thanks, Pete. No, definitely congratulations on that, man. Uh, thank you. It's uh... You're welcome. When you messaged me, I just put a big smile on my face. <laughs> it's all I'm like, yes! I think I'm going to be uh, cranking out shapes of a lot here. It's going to pick up, yeah. In the, in the future. I think I got that coming. Plus, we got, we have an event in November, the Bro Show. So that's all, that's all stuff for, for guys. And I am, mm -hmm. I think, the only vendor that's selling um shaving wet shaving supplies there's no other stores there that sell that oh no so, kidding yeah and so you I, have the farmer's market and i have the farmer's market i'm selling a lot of a lot of shave soap there too people are really curious that's awesome it starts off they want to know you know they always ask me the same thing they said you do i need a safety razor to use your soap and i'm like no you don't you can no. use whatever razor you have and then eventually what ends up happening is they'll start asking me about the different things, other things like a brush and, you know, um, safety razors and things like that. So, That's awesome. Josh, you open a shop in the Cape. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be cool. For sure. There's not, there's nothing down there, right? No, there's a, there's a place called Summer House Soaps and I, used her stuff a while ago she only has she has a bay rum and she had a uh, cedar and myrrh and they weren't that great they yeah. smelled delightful but it was basically you know hand soap i have yeah i have those they smell fantastic oh my gosh yeah you ordered them yeah yeah that's right yeah they weren't they smell great they smell awesome if she could just figure out a way to tweak that and yeah and just boost that steric acid and yeah she had no steric acid at all in it yeah, if she could boost that up, she'll boom. She'll have a crazy shape. So, I would love to open a shop though. That'd be amazing. Kathleen, Joe's taking over the world one shop at a time. Yes, because my wife, because Jess is an SK man. She could do the books. Yeah, I've thought about it honestly. Dude, you could open up a shop down there. There's not a lot of shops down there. Yeah, no? and you you know enough people. You can find out, you know, how to get the products in. I can tell you how I get my, where I get my stuff from. Absolutely. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. Well, I... and you already got a nice, cool, you already got a cool logo. Cape Cod wet shit. And you already got that. Yeah. <laughs> that was thanks to uh, Caleb Aylesworth. He's oh, the one who did that for me. He yeah. Graphics. Well, I did the first one with the razor with the cape in the background, but he did the, the one I use now. Yeah. So, SKs know their numbers. Yeah, they do. Good ones. <laughs> so I think I think you gotta, last time every time I do this, right? I I go to post it, and I'll get like the top of your head, and then like my chest. Oh, I remember what Andy had said. So yeah, Tobin and said we, we should probably back up <laughs> to get the photo. Yeah, like a passport. 
or mug shot. I like your mug shot, yeah. And then we'll see what happens. I'll try it again. <laughs> this time I'll probably be all backwards. I'll probably get like the same weird thing. I don't know. I'm upside down. I'll try to figure it out. Okay. Yeah, no worries, man. Art shaves, how's it going, man? All right. Well, congratulate, uh, congrats again, man. That's a big deal. Yeah, thank you. I, I am super excited about that. Gareth is, uh, I mean, he's such a he's such a nice guy. Such oh, a nice guy to work. You know, he's easy to work with too. I kept asking him and <laughs> about things, and he was like, "Yeah, no worries, no worries." So, yeah. I actually I just got a marker 1904 from him. Oh, you did? Yeah. Cool. He's cool. Shipping, shipping out today, so. Oh, that's awesome. Can't wait. And then Phil, I'm getting your 214. Uh, I think tomorrow. Mine shipped out. Mine shipped out today, so I'll probably get it. Awesome. And I got my spot. Got my spot all cleared out for it in my cabinet. Like a little hollowed out section, like that big. I got my little. I got them all lined up. A little spot reserved for. That's two. cool. <laughs> Very cool. All right, man. All right, dude. That's all I got. Well, today. That's a good yeah, uh, I think we're gonna go out to eat. Oh, cool, cool. Go to, I don't know, I you ever go to water? I'm going to sit on the couch and drink lots of water and try, to, try to get the calories back into me. You too, Kathleen, thank you. I just saw Gareth today, oh yeah. 20 minutes away, you lucky. Grumble, grumble. <laughs> that's, that's bad news though. If I live 20 minutes away from a place like that, a razor company, no. Uh, nope. I, I wouldn't have. I'd have to have. I'd, I'd have to. I'd have to put on another bathroom. I'd have to build another room in my house. Yep. Yep. It's bad enough. I had to put in a second medicine cabinet just to hold the brushes and the razors that I have. Did you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's cool. I did. I have over here. I have brushes and razors and some fragrances. On the other side, I have like other setups and splashes and things like that. So. Perfect. Good deal. All right, man. Well, thank you again for having me. I really yeah. appreciate it. Anytime, dude. Anytime, honestly. All right. Sounds good. But uh, thanks for the shave. Really good talking to you. Yeah, dude. We appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Good seeing you. Or good seeing you, excuse me. Shaving cycle with cold room Swedish fish. That's funny. Swedish fish. <laughs> Solid post right now. Yeah, definitely. I got to correct the calories tonight, man. Well, I'm out, buddy. Good seeing right, you. Guys. Everybody Take have a good care. weekend. Everybody, good seeing you. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good weekend. You too, man. Enjoy tomorrow. Bye.